Hello and welcome to Joyless Gaming and Injustice 2 Ability Analysis. We're going to be looking at Robin, perennial favourite. Uh, he's got a bunch of ones that are strange and then ones that are really cool. So first have a look at Deadly Birdarang and Air Deadly Birdarang. They are giving him a regular projectile. They're both one slot. Each one can be meter burned to throw three where the right range all three will hit. So pretty straightforward, just ordinary projectiles, which is something that he kind of lacks. This is his only other projectile otherwise. And next we have Line in the Sand. Which, yeah, you destroy it if you walk over it. But the enemy walks over it, they take a chunk of damage and lose a chunk of super meter. Obviously, kind of like a setup move more than anything else, and if you paired it with the Deadly Burnerang, you could be trying to zone out, getting your opponent to approach you, but otherwise a bit of a gimmick. Next is Elusive Swoop, which changes the meter burn variant of his swoop attack into a teleport. A teleport that on hit... can combo. So anything that can combo into it if you're feeling fancy. You can also meet to change sides if you want to trick your opponent up, especially if they block it. Oh, overhead lows. Side to side. Next we have Low Smart Birdarang, which just changes his down back one to now hit low. Funny thing, the normal one hits mid and when you meter burn it, it does a bunch of lows. This one, when you meter burn it, it does a bunch of mids. <laughs> but it does mean that you can use it for attempts at looping setups. and so on and so forth. Next we have Air Deadly Arsenal and Air Arsenal Attack, which change his trait to be activated from the air. And I do mean change. They don't add the ability to use them from the air. They make it so that you can't use them from the ground. You can only use them from the air now. You can equip one or the other separately and mix and match if you can like activate from the ground but then pull it in from the air. If you want to get technical, use that in the corner, you might be able to get a follow-up. But very strange and it, yes, it changes his usual approach of being able to set up after that to only being able to sort of set up from the air. And then not being able to recall, but you could make it so you set it up from the air and recall from the ground if you wish, but very odd. And last, of course, everyone's favorite, Staff of Grayson. It's a two-slot ability, his only two-slot ability. It is pretty much just a Nightwing trait from the first game, which means you don't get the regular baton attacks, you just get the staff attacks. But you have a few strings, you have 1-1. One, one. Uh, which, by the way, is plus five. Goes mid-low and is plus five on block. You have one two, which goes into an overhead. You have one three, which is unsafe as a low. I don't know why you would do one three instead of one one, but it's probably just because they ported over most of the moves from Injustice 1 and left it as is. And because of that, jump attacks are instant overheads. Which is very annoying, since they fixed that as of Mortal Kombat X and onwards. The uh, down one, six frame, zero on block. Go nuts. Standing two is a sort of a bounce, which you can get from the... You know, you can follow up from in the corner. Or from mid-screen if you want. 
You've got one back one, which is one into the back one, which knocks away, is still safe. Most of these attacks are actually safe. Uh, usually involving these ones are the ones that are unsafe. That's the standing three, which does actually also pop up for a follow-up. And yes, you get the ground spark, which you can launch with. You get flying Grayson. No meter burn on that. That's just a knockaway and it's a... Right, and you get that. It can also be meter burn to be plus seven on block. And uh, as near as I can tell, this is your wake up attack when you're in staff stance. Now, the crucial thing is that not everything allows you to combo into the staff. Essentially, the 2 1, 2 1, and the back 1 2 are the only standing strings that seem to allow you to combo into the staff. But you get pretty good damage when you do. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's Robin's move. He's actually got, in general, more useful than non-useful and certainly uh, interesting. The, although, as I say, kind of broken instant jump overheads. <laughs> but, go nuts. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. I know lots of people wanted to know how the staff of Grayson works. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.